So Gamescom opening night live just happened and there weren't really any major announcements, which is to be expected. This is opening night live. Uh, you don't expect any major bangers to be announced at this event. Uh, that stuff is reserved for the game awards as well as TGS, which is gonna be happening next month. So uh, we will get into both of those events a little bit later into this video. So opening night live is basically gonna be an appetizer for those two events. But the one thing that actually stood out to me the most during this event was Lies of P. Now this game was actually announced about a year ago with a pretty short announcement trailer so we got kind of an idea of what this game was going to be and it's basically a dark twisted take on the story of Pinocchio. And based on this full gameplay trailer they announced and showed us today it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> like I'm legitimately hyped for this game. It looks honestly like a cross between Bloodborne and Sekiro and I hate using the term souls like just because it's so overused but that's basically kind of what it is. You're going to be playing as this robot type version of Pinocchio wandering this very gothic fantasy Bloodborne-esque wasteland looking potentially for Geppetto. Why? I do not know. But one of the really cool interesting things about this and it looks like this might affect gameplay is that you're your character does get this blue lamp that they carry with them and apparently that lamp is gonna be Jiminy Cricket which is really cool so <laughs> this is like a fun gothic take on a classic fairy tale and the combat looks really great as well if you're someone who's played any type of Souls game uh, the two that really stick out obviously are Bloodborne and Sekiro this is probably gonna be up your alley the combat looks heavily inspired by those games the UI looks heavily inspired by those games the actual level design and setting and the, the feel of and look of the game all really resemble Bloodborne in particular. So if you're someone who's really into Bloodborne and you're waiting for a remake or a remaster or a sequel announcement, Lies of P is probably really going to scratch that itch for you. It looks really, really damn cool. They also did tease a little something towards the end of the trailer, which I don't know what it is, but there's four different characters that all kind of have an animal theme to them with their masks and one of the, the characters characters the biggest one which looks like a pig is carrying a coffin with the words liar written inside of it which is obviously going to be a reference to Pinocchio somebody who lies now I don't know if this is teasing some sort of multiplayer co-op thing or if these four characters are going to be involved in the story potentially as antagonists that you might fight in different sections of this world so I'm very much excited for this I think it looks really great really polished and it's actually coming to us from a Korean studio which is really cool. I think a lot of people were under the impression that it was probably being made uh, in France. It did kind of have that French vibe to it when we first saw it. So the game itself will be available pretty much on all platforms. I don't recall if it's going to be on the Switch. However, what is really interesting is that it will be available day one on Xbox Game Pass. So that's definitely going to be a game that I will check out for sure. Lies of P looks awesome. Now as for the other events that are going to be happening later this year, that's TGS next month, this September and the Game Awards, which will be taking place on December 8th. Now, if you've come across my channel, it's probably due to Final Fantasy videos. My channel is primarily aimed at Square Enix news and Final Fantasy news. However, I'm a really big Capcom fan as well, and I'm a really huge fighting game fan, even though I suck balls <laughs> at pretty much every fighting game in existence. So I already made one video talking about Final Fantasy and Square Enix at TGS. We could potentially see Rebirth there as well as Ever Crisis, but I'm also really Really hoping that we see some stuff from Capcom because they are also scheduled to be at TGS as well so I wouldn't be surprised if we see some Street Fighter 6 news but the one thing I'm really holding out for is new information on Resident Evil 4 remake the reveal trailer we got was dope but we didn't really get much in the way of gameplay and then earlier this year we had that Capcom showcase which basically showed less than 30 seconds of gameplay for this game and the game itself is almost finished it's coming out early next year so I'm I'm really hoping that at TGS, not only do we get Final Fantasy news, but we get some Resident Evil 4 news as well. And depending on what we do or don't see at TGS could determine what we see at the Game Awards later this year. Now, the Game Awards is essentially a second E3. Millions upon millions of people watch this show and report on it. So if you're a video game developer, the one place you really want to be to announce a game is going to be at the Game Awards. So with that being said, I would not be shocked if we see some Final Fantasy 7 re birth news at the Game 
Awards, Resident Evil 4 news at the Game Awards, and whatever the hell NetherRealm Studios is cooking up <laughs> at their studio. It's been rumored for a while now that it's going to be Mortal Kombat 12, but that Nvidia GeForce leak that occurred last year was talking about things like Mortal Kombat 12, as well as Injustice 3, I believe it was called God's Fall. So at the Game Awards, that is going to be the place to be. That's going to be the event to watch. So I'm hoping that we see some Final Fantasy 7 news at the Game Awards, some Resident Evil news, and whatever the hell NetherRealm is doing. So, and one more thing before I go. A couple of years ago, I created a video called The Impact of Music in Video Games. And to this day, I think it might actually be one of the best videos I've ever written and recorded. It's something I'm incredibly proud of. And over this past year, um, I've actually been able to kind of grow my channel and expand and actually have new people subscribe and comment and watch the videos. So if you're somebody who's new here, I would very much appreciate it if you could go back and check out that video. I will leave a link to it in this video at the very end as well as as a card. And um, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, Final Fantasy 7 Remake in particular, <laughs> you might get some enjoyment out of that video as it's one of the games that I included in that video. And it only got a handful of views back in the day, maybe like 22 or 23. So if you're new here, I would really appreciate it if you could check that video out. I worked really hard on it and it's something I'm incredibly proud of. So hopefully you give it a shot. I will see you guys in the next video. Please leave any thoughts and comments down below. What are your thoughts on Lies of P? What are you expecting to see at TGS and the Game Awards from Square Enix, Capcom, or NetherRealm Studios, or any other fighting game company? I will see you guys in the next video. Please always remember to be excellent to one another.